I'm glad that you're all in a good mood tonight because it's always a pleasure to introduce a new comedian to The Tonight Show. This young man's name is Jay Leno, and uh, this is his first appearance on The Tonight Show. Later this year, he's going to make his film debut in The Silver Bears with Michael Caine, which is not bad. Would you welcome, please, Jay Leno. Jay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm originally from the United States. Any United States people here tonight? Oh, what a small world. Isn't that funny, no matter where you're from? You know, I've been out of California for about four or five months, and I just got back, and I notice now, when you call directory assistance here, you get a recorded message. If you're unable to find the number in your directory, please stay on the line, an operator will assist. Call the weather today. Have you looked outside? <laughs> Been reading about the weather back east? What's been happening in Buffalo and Pittsburgh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> this man will back me up. <laughs> it's the same man who talks to the television at home. Look out, look out, Kojak. Thanks, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you an idea how cold it is back there, heard on the radio today, it snowed on the sun this morning. <laughs> it's very chilly. We were just sitting in the green room watching the local news before. I was getting kicked out of newsmen, because newsmen always use the same metaphors. Another senseless killing early today in mid-Manhattan. Senseless as opposed to what? <laughs> Sensible killing? Man was beaten and robbed of 12 cents on the west side, a senseless killing, whereas on the east side, a thousand dollar killing, very sensible. <laughs> and newsmen always say things like, Americans were shocked today when they learned, let's face it, nothing shocks us anymore. <laughs> they just tell the truth. World came to an end today. Most Americans couldn't give a damn about the whole thing. <laughs> give me a hamburger and some gasoline. <laughs> and why is it in this country, whenever someone commits a horrible crime, Newsmen always go to the criminal's old neighborhood and interview his friends. <laughs> and people always say the same things about criminals. Bob Johnson? Yeah, uh, kind of a loner. <laughs> Seemed like a nice fellow, always said hello. Mm. They should put some real neighbors on the news. I knew that jerk could pull a stunt like this. <laughs> they should have locked that bozo up five years ago. 